Hi, everyone. Welcome to CRSJ 101, a monthly membership event. I see we have folks still joining, so we'll give it another 10 to 15 seconds, and then we'll go ahead and get started. All right, let's go ahead. Hi, everyone. My name is Allie Kielsgaard. I am the Associate Director for the ABA Section of Civil Rights and Social Justice. We're thrilled to have you here today um, for our monthly membership event. We also have on Richika Sharma, the Program Specialist, and the wonderful Alicia Frazier, a former chair of the section, who has so graciously agreed to present on today's CRSJ 101. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Allie and um, Rashika for joining us today. And of course, uh, doing th all things for the section that uh, we come to rely on the staff. Um, what the attendees, what you will find when you become active in the section is that um, without, without them, um, nothing gets done. So thank you again. And um, I'd like to um, kick off the discussion about the civil rights social justice section. Um, as you can see on the current screen, um, you have the current executive committee listed, uh, Juan Thomas, and, and they're listed in um, the order starting top left and ending um, 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 bottom left. And so the names are in that order. Um, you have Juan Thomas, who is the chair uh, this year, and Robin Rungi, who will be the chair, uh, who, who will be chair next year. And following her is Lacey Durham. And so the section of civil rights and social justice was founded in 1966 formerly known as the section of individual rights and responsibilities. Um, but uh, its goals have, have not changed over the, the many decades. We still are about protecting and advancing human rights, civil liberties, and social justice. And so um, you have the section divided in the following parts. You have the section council, uh, which is, is uh, the governing body for the section, and the executive committee acts in the absence of the entire council um, being convened. The council normally meets four times a year. We have 21 substantive committees. So uh, if there's something that you're interested in being involved, we likely have a committee already up and, and running. But what I might add to that, if when you look at the, the committee list um, and you see an issue uh, that is not covered by the various committees, uh, please feel free to reach out to leadership or to staff uh, if you'd like to propose a new committee. Um, and so you see uh, with the 26 committees, there are five divisions. And so the, the divisions are uh, roughly um, composed of the committees that are interrelated. Uh, but of course, all of the work of all of the committees um, touch on uh, most of the, the committee's uh, work. And so you, you will find that you have a lot of cross collaboration between the various committees. Um, so, you know, for example, I know when I was chair, uh, one of the committees that was not a committee is the Bullyproof Committee. So that's a, a fairly recent committee, um, but we've always done work around that issue. Uh, same with economic justice. Uh, we didn't necessarily have a committee called that, but again, we uh, each of those committees have have touched on those issues uh, in their work, one way or the other. So we we have a number of projects and initiatives. Uh, one um, one is that's my favorite is the one section one book, and so um, the section selects a civil rights related book and they have a book discussion about it. So uh, that is very um, um, fun and interesting way to get to know committee members outside of the traditional work um, that you would do if you join the committee. Um, of course, all of these are very interesting. We just recently had an economic justice summit. All of these things, you can go onto the website 
and find uh, more detailed information. The chair of the, of, of the section, Juan um, Thomas, uh, he monthly has a chair chat and he speaks with um, a special guests about uh, issues uh, that they are dealing with around uh, civil rights. Um, we've got the perfecting democracy as a um, protect the vote, as well as get get out the vote, but it's mostly protect the vote. And so if that's an interest, uh, area that you're interested in, um, there always are opportunities, because as you know, there are always elections. And so there's always opportunities for you to, to, to become involved in, in um, protecting the vote and educating the public on um, election law issues. So uh, additional initiatives that we have, one, another one that is near and dear to my heart is the Death Penalty Due Process Review Project. Um, it has for a long time uh, been um, um, volunteer Steve Hamlin, who's a former chair of the section, and Ron Tabak are very active in, in that particular committee. And they are people, if, if you are active in the death penalty uh, matters, you know those names already. And that's the thing that I really like about being involved in the section is that all of our projects and initiatives um, have people who are um, at, at, at the forefront of these issues, whether through their organizations or um, you know, spearheading efforts, you will have an opportunity to work with the people who are engaged on these issues. Uh, you know, given the, the Dobbs decision, uh, you see that we have a, a re reproductive rights pro bono project. We've had that prior to Dobbs. Uh, but, you know, of course, Dobbs makes that even more important. Um, so a lot of opportunities uh, to get involved in other issues as well. So programming. Um, we have uh, a number of webinars. So if you're interested in presenting, uh, you're interested in writing, drafting resolutions for us to take to the House of Delegates, which as you may or may not know is the governing body for the America Bar Association, there are a number of ways in which you can become directly involved. And as you can see, just um, this past bar year, the 22-23 bar year, we did 16 programs. So out of those 16 programs, there are a number of things that I'm sure any of you uh, can find uh, that would, would interest you uh, or be in your area of interest. Uh, the previous two years, uh, I mean, if you look at 2021, which is really remarkable because we were thick in uh, COVID, we had over 70 programs. Um, and if you can see from the titles, um, uh, they, they range uh, from guardianship reform legislation uh, to voting rights to um, immigrant issues, um, as well as um, issues related to uh, the rights uh, of workers as it relates to their religious beliefs. So Human Rights Magazine, another um, um, very um, nice product that the section puts out. Again, uh, you have a very active um, board. Uh, if you're interested on being, you know, being on the board, um, you can speak with, um, again, um, the, the, the staff or um, any of the leadership of the section. Uh, is, is Melissa on the, on the, with us, Allie? Okay, so um, I will ask uh, Rashika Sharma, who is uh, a staff person, to talk a little bit about Human Rights Magazine. Because again, you know, when you come to the section, if you're like me when I first started, you want to roll up your sleeves and get involved. And so you want to identify ways in which you can be involved. And if you're a writer or, you know, you're into um, uh, doing editorial work, Human Rights Magazine would be a great opportunity for you. So I don't want to go uh, uh, move beyond uh, this slide uh, without giving Rushika a chance to talk about Human Rights Magazine. 
Absolutely. Thank you so much, Lisa. I'm happy to jump in. So Human Rights Magazine is our award-winning publication, um, and it's really a section it's really a wonderful section resource. Um, not only do section members have the opportunity to contribute to the magazine and author articles, but it's also our uh, premier section benefit. So uh, when you pay dues, you receive a copy of our magazine in the mail um, as it comes out for issues every bar year. Um, our latest issue you'll see on your screen right now, volume 48, number two, uh, addresses wealth disparities and civil rights. And our theme uh, under Chair Juan Thomas, for this year is really focusing on economic justice and addressing these economic disparities. So our human rights editorial board is delving uh, deep into, you know, exploring what these issues are, what these inequities are, and what are concrete solutions um, to addressing them and how can we advance um, such policy or advocacy solutions. So uh, there are opportunities to not only read the magazine um, and, and garner the expertise of the, you know, for lack of repeating myself, the experts who are authoring these pieces, but also an opportunity to um, contribute, you know, your research. Um, if there is a particular area that you want to uh, author, we welcome you to attend an editorial board meeting and share your ideas with us. Um, so I encourage you, our next issue is coming out um, in the next couple of weeks, volume 48, number three. We're talking about um, economic justice and criminal justice and what the intersection of those two issues um, is. So keep an eye out on our website um, and hopefully we'll see you uh, on one of our editorial board meetings soon. And um, I, I, I uh, thank you again, Rashika, for that. I, I hope that that was uh, helpful for those of you who may be interested in working on the Human Rights Magazine. I will note that uh, it is a well-respected uh, respected magazine in, in um, most law schools and most civil rights social justice, uh, inter international rights organizations look forward to receiving the magazine. So it is an opportunity for you to have uh, published work if you wanna write or you know on the editing side uh, to, to be involved in award-winning opportunity. I did like to say at the beginning that um, I'd like to give people an opportunity to have an interaction interactive section, session with us. And so if you have questions, please feel free to raise your hand and we will take them rather than waiting until the end of the presentation. Um, so one of the things that we do best as a section um, is, is our advocacy. Um, the section of individual, I'm sorry, section, of, I'm dating myself, this, the, the, the section of civil rights, social justice is one of the main contributors to uh, recommendations to the House of Delegates to be voted upon to become the policy of the association. And so, as you can see, uh, we actually uh, worked with the ABA to have an amicus brief filed in the Dobbs um, um, case, um, as well as a number of other um, cases um, that you see listed in the recent action. Uh, we uh, work to uh, advocate for the passage of the uh, Violence Against Women um, Act, the reauthorization of that. Um, we draft letters um, to uh, on, on both the state and the federal level. So like in the fourth bullet point, what you would see is that we worked um, to uh, draft letters to the state and federal branches on parental rights and educational law. Uh, so there are a number of things. Again, if you have ideas um, and you think that there's an issue that the ABA should have some policy on and they don't already have the policy, we would love to have those ideas, those suggestions. And the way that that works is you normally work through the committees to get the um, recommendations submitted for review to the council, but you don't have to, uh, but that is the primary way in which our recommendations go forth to the House of Delegates is through our committee work. So what are the leadership opportunities? Uh, we've talked about and I've um, uh, alluded to them in my presentation. So you can produce uh, webinars, articles, uh, and again, you get to do that with the, the premier professionals in, in the subject area that you want to, to, to uh, work on. 
you can participate as a panelist or a moderator, uh, much like I am doing today. Um, through your committee work, you can do projects or initiatives very much like you saw earlier in the presentation, like the, the voter protection, uh, the civil rights initiative, those kind of things. Uh, you can write articles for the Human Rights Magazine, which Rashika was kind enough to give us um, a, a deep dive into that. Um, you can also draft resolutions again, which we talked about. Um, and you can also be an advocate for the implementation of ABA policy on civil rights and social justice. Um, so there are a lot of opportunities for you to become more involved if there is the desire to do so. So what do people have to say? Of course, Juan Thomas um, and uh, uh, Raul Aluch, uh, who is a uh, council member, you can read those testimonies. I'll talk to you about my own testimony. Um, probably like many of you, the reason we went to law school is we wanted to make a difference. But we also, many of us um, also have other interests. My interests happen to be in commercial real estate. So although I knew that I wasn't going to practice in the area of civil rights, social justice, or human rights, I knew that I always wanted to be involved. And thankfully, thankfully uh, the section of civil rights and social justice would what we call the mighty, the little mighty, mighty warrior, because we are a small section, but we have a major mighty impact on the work of the American Bar Association and the issues that it takes forth to um, advocate before Congress and state uh, legislatures. So um, you can read those testimonials, and I hope to one day see your own testimonial. Um, um, on in in uh, either person or um, uh, we can capture as we're doing membership uh, campaigns. So um, I really thank you for attending. We hope that you join us and you're ready to roll up your sleeves and get uh, active. And so I will take questions. I haven't seen a hand raised quite yet, but if there are questions, I'm happy to answer any questions that you may have. We hope you'll follow us on our social accounts. And if anyone has any questions about joining the section or membership, um, be it through committees or projects and initiatives, um, please feel free to reach out to crsj at americanbar.org. Thank you so much, everyone, for attending. I'm not seeing any questions. All right. Thank you so much, everyone. We appreciate you attending. Have a good day, everyone. Thank you. Bye-bye.